We are way at the creek, probably about 300 yards from where we were doing our sampling back there, sampling up. But most of this is exposed bedrock. It's going to say the cracks are going the same direction as the creek, so not really prime time for gold capture. But there's these holes in it with some hard packed gravels. So I'm gonna be panning those now and checking those out. A couple of good ones here. You know, you got your high water mark. Think of this, you gotta remember you're always thinking of flood stage. Not what the creek's doing now, it's not really moving any gold. If it is, not what we're looking for. You wanna think of a flood that happens every maybe 50, 100 years or so, 50 to 100 years. Those are the kind of deposits that really move and capture gold. So even a decent sized storm, it's, it's gonna, all this should be all gravels up here. So we can kind of think of what the river's doing. All this right here would all be kind of underwater. It looks like two creeks come around here. When the water comes this way, when it starts to flood back there, it starts to come over here because it's barely trickling through there. It's kind of damp up there, really no water. But thinking of flood stage and much, much longer, older time period. So I'm gonna pan these up and see what's in these little holes. I expect a couple of colors. Be nice to get to catch a little fluke nugget. Wish me luck. Here we go. They're really small. I don't think I'll ever be able to dredge these. But like I said, there's almost there's no material in this. Every once in a while you get one of these holes here, just some material, but it's filled with soot and I mean, you know we're gonna have to cut all these trees. It's gonna be a little out of time and work our way up. We cutting these trees out and moving them out. Probably have little fires on the side of the hill as long as we can. Get rid of some of the stuff to clear it up, clean it up, cut these little trees, make it a lot more accessible. Very exciting. Gonna keep working up the creek. Wish me luck. All right, continuing up the creek. Super beautiful here. Let's just take a shot of it all. Over here, it's water trickling. The bedrock is completely clean. I think that it was mined, and this here is the tailings from it. There's some tailings here. I think they started here. They mined their way that way and kept piling it over and over and over and over. Now it kind of splits up there. It goes a little bit, a little bit of water's going that way. But the majority is here. See, the reason why I'm panning here, you can see the creek. It's a little smaller, and then it widens out here. And I'm panning further down. You don't want to be right where it starts to widen. Think of a water hose. When the water's on, it f comes and falls out right by it. But if you put it on full blast, the water shoots out another foot or two and then falls. So it's the same thing. During the flood stage, this creek's going to be roaring through here. It's going to be high as here. So if it's going to start to slow, it's not going to really start to slow till it gets further down. So I'll kind of use that theory here. But I will pan here, here, here. By myself today, they're up there working on the trail. So got to keep an eye out for bears. No problems yet. Seen one the other day, way off in the distance, climbed a tree, looks like a little guy or girl. But here we go, look, so pan right here. This is how they've been looking, really. Getting one little decent piece every pan. A couple little ones in here, little colors, but that's not bad. I call this catchable gold. Really catchable there. Look how yellow. Really yellow. Aurora's got some of the purest gold. Delonago up here. Some of the purest gold ever found. Other than Australia. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Further sampling. Figure something out here. When you're sampling in this super shallow stuff, dig your hole, take your pan somewhere or you could pan right in this hole, and then as you move forward, you can classify and pan the hole behind you. So dig, put in your classifiers, and you have a hole in the shallow creek to classify and pan behind you. As you move forward, you got a place to pan behind you, back and forth, back and forth. But check this out. Got two pans here. Here's one. Let's see. Nice pieces in there. About 10, 12 colors in a chunk. 
And then here's another one. Two chunks. Not bad.